Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of the Chelsea career mode. If you're newer to the channel and you uh, haven't seen this before, whenever we get to a cup final, as the players and manager would, we don the suit for a one-off special. Uh, some might find it weird. We just do it for a bit of entertainment, for a bit of fun. We have Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final without skipping to the end and cheating. Let me know in the comment section down below before we get any further. What do you think the scoreline is going to be? I am not confident, if I'm completely honest. To give you a bit of context, I'll show you the results. The last times we've played Liverpool so far this season, I believe it's just the once in the league thus far at the beginning of the year. And we lost by three goals to one. So I would expect a similar result. We have Liverpool on the penultimate day of the season away from home. Thankfully, this is at a neutral ground, of course, the Carabao Cup final at Wembley. So I'm not confident, but we shall still try our best. And hopefully we might be able to scrape something. This is going to be my starting lineup. Tammy Abraham and Mason, Mason Mount through the middle. With Willian out left, because he's certainly offered more than Callum Hudson-Odoi so far this season. Christian Pulisic on the right, with uh, Kante and Jorginho holding. Going for a little bit more quality in midfield for this cup final. Alonso, Tomori, Christensen, James and Kepa. On the bench we have options. Michi, Callum Hudson-Odoi, Barkley, Loftus-Cheek, Kovacic, who the media absolutely adore right now. Speaking of the media, we'll head to our uh, press conference before we have a quick look at those Youth Scouts reports that have come in. But I don't own a Navy shirt, so otherwise I'd wear a Navy shirt. But I do have uh, a Chelsea tie. Let me bring up my OBS so I can uh, see that you can see it. I'm wearing a Chelsea tie, so hopefully that will bring us some form of good luck. Michi Batshuayi is in good form. Will we see more of him today? Uh, we shall switch tactics. Michi actually hasn't been in that good a form for us, but uh, hopefully... Tammy Abraham, who is our best goal scorer this season, will step up. How have you prepared for the next match against your rival, Liverpool? I mean, it's like any other match, really. We have to treat it as such. Because if we get all caught up in the moment, we'll probably panic, get flustered and underperform. So much... Uh, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Uh, please tell us if you have anything special prepared for the final. I'm not going to give away any of my tactics, but... I mean, I do tend to play the same style of football regardless of the nature of the fixture. So we will play our usual football is probably the best way to respond okay, to that. Thanks so much for today. See you next time. See you next time, Mr. Reporter. Right, we're off out of the press conference. We'll have a quick look at these youth scout reports to see if there's anything of note in there. And then we'll head to Wembley. Torben Hoffman, 76-94. This is his third month being scouted. I'll sign him, but I'm not overly sure that he's going to be incredible. This guy might be. Yes, he's 17, but £500,000 uh, value means that his rating is slightly higher. His potential is only 62 to 86, but we'll wait and see. Uh, we'll give you another month. Six foot uh, potential centre-back or CDM. Uh, you're not going to be good enough. You're certainly not going to be good enough, and you're not going to be good enough. We'll wait and see what happens with uh, the young Germans there. Oscar Thomas, 71 to 87. No, I'm going to say no to him. 73 to 93, he's 15, but he's not that high rated to start off with. If you if you have someone that's really high rated to start off with, really high rated is obviously a relative term, then they're probably going to reach the upper reaches of those uh, parameters. But if they're not that high rated to start off with, 275,000 is okay. We'll wait and see with him. Give him another month, and this guy we should certainly say no to, Mason Alexander. I have to be careful that I don't over sign players in certain positions obviously we have a plethora of central midfielders currently and there isn't much need to sign many more we have Torben Zimmerman we have Eve Kamara we have Frank Vandenberg as youngsters in those positions uh, Torben Hoffman looks okay at 16 years of age 37 finishing on a striker though is not necessarily what you want but he's got okay ball control to start off with and then uh, Justus Brandt, or Eustace Brandt, right back, 71 acceleration, 73 sprint speed. He's jumping, he's 78. He could be better utilised as a centre-back, probably at 6 foot 1, but a good starting point for him. He actually might be, maybe not the highest rated, but actually quite effective. Similar to Tomori, really. Tomori's not the highest rated, but he is effective because his stats suit FIFA as a game. I'm going to make sure that Liverpool put out their strongest starting lineup for this cup final, and then I will see you at Wembley. 
Liverpool's starting lineup, they are without Jordan Henderson, who's suspended, and they've sold Trent Alexander Arnold. Hector Bayerin has come in instead. I'm curious to know whether that was a straight swap, because I don't believe there were any fees paid or received, or at least received by Liverpool with regards to their transfer window when we looked at it earlier on in the save. I'd be curious to know if that was a straight swap. But uh, there were, I don't think there's any way for me to be able to tell, apart from maybe I'll have a look at the transfer history and see if there's anything in there. We'll see if Trent Alexander-Arnold is at Arsenal. If he is, then I would imagine it was a straight swap. But we're up against it here. We're obviously the weaker team. We've obviously got uh, a couple of poor results behind us recently. We've obviously got some... Uh, poor form against Liverpool behind us so far this year as well. We did actually play them in the Super Cup 2 where we lost, unfortunately. So a 3-1 defeat in the league and we played them in the Super Cup where they beat us there too. Although we weren't quite as familiar with our team at that stage of the season, either in the league game or the Super Cup. And also our players hadn't grown as much as they have to this point in the save. So maybe we'll actually be slightly better here than we were on those occasions. We've drawn a good save out of Alisson there and the defenders have worked it away nicely. So at least we've started positively. We just need to keep that running for the full 90 minutes. Here's Mo Salah down the right-hand side for Liverpool. They're going to try and utilise this side of the field, I feel, with Marcus Alonso being quite slow. And Salah is going to hopefully find himself caught up in physical battles more so than pace battles. I might drop my defensive line slightly to deal with the pace of the Egyptian and, of course, uh, Mo, Mo Salah, Sadio Mane on this right-hand side of uh, my defence as well. Hopefully, Reese James can deal with Mane. But we're really up against it with this Liverpool team. Obviously, they're one of the best teams in the league. Obviously, their starting lineup is really, really strong. Could get that into Willian here, although Bayerin is going to be able to deal with anything we throw at them pace-wise on that left-hand side, whether it be Willian or Callum hudson Adoy or Christian Pulisic if we switch wings with he and Willian. So I might try and utilise their left side as well. But obviously, there's Andy Robertson there and he's not exactly a bad wing back either. Close start to the game. Liverpool tried to build and we were able to deny them a chance on goal. Although if Salah keeps that in, which he will do. Again, they're in behind Marcus Alonso. Perhaps Emerson might have been the better option here. Rhys James needs to win that header and does, thankfully. Naby Keita sneaking in at the back. Oh no, it might be Mane actually. But Naby Keita is certainly picking up a yellow card here. Salah to take the corner for Liverpool. And play it too, the recently broke Snabby Cater. Rolled it out in front of himself and then lost possession. Willian on the counter then. Not as fast as he used to be, Willian, but certainly fast enough. And we've got a lot of blue shirts sliding forward here. I've got Mason Mount. I've got Jorginho. I've got Tammy Abraham with me here. I'm going to dink this into the middle. And Mason Mount will bring it down and volley it straight to Alisson's feet. Pulisic can't get there and Bayerin will work it away. We've had the only chances of the game so far. We've drawn Alisson into action a couple of times, but no goal yet. Oh, and still won't be with shots like that. Bayerin is with me. Here's Mason Mount. Bayerin will close me down. Means we can get it out to Willian in a bit of space. We'll try and chop the ball back. We've done really well. The ball in's good. Pulisic. Oh, Christian. Really good chance in space. And he's absolutely fluffed it. We've been the side in this game thus far. Four shots for us, one for them. No goals yet, though. And the longer we go without scoring, the more likely Liverpool are to eventually win the game. No Salah again in behind. They've barely used Sadio Mane on the other side. Might have to bring uh, Emerson on at half-time because Marcus Alonso is just out of his depth at the minute trying to deal with Mo Salah. Here's Bayerin. Oh, I tried to step in. We fouled him slightly. Bayerin into Naby Keita. Keepers coming. Can't get there. And Liverpool do now lead. That's frustrating. Salah back to Bayerin. I absolutely nailed Mo Salah there. The little back here will find Genie. Trying to deal with the run of the Dutchman. But there's the half-time whistle. A half that we've dominated, but still find ourselves behind in. That's really frustrating. The positive is that we know that we can create chances so that we know that we are still within or still stand a very good chance of getting something from this game. I'm taking Alonso off though. He is just not able to cut it right now against Mo Salah. I don't know whether any changes are necessary at this stage outside of that one. We're doing okay offensively. I don't want to mix 
the uh, to slow it up too much and affect the flow or the way that we've been playing. We just need to continue on the way that we've been playing offensively so far, and we will at some point equalise. Mason Mount's picked up a yellow card for that trip on Hector Bayerin on the way into their goal-scoring chance. Oh, it's a lovely ball in behind Rhys James to Mo Salah. Not Mo Salah, Sadio Mane. I keep getting them mixed up for some reason. Sane back to Naby Keita. I'll have that, thank you. And away. Counter-attack, let's go. Come on, Mason. Break at pace if you can. Try and draw the defender away, which we've done well. Tammy's there. And the one of Willian has taken other defenders away as well. Tammy's not as fast as he could be, though, or potentially will be eventually in some point in his career. He's working the ball about nicely. He's gone for a 1-2. And Tammy's in the box here. Tammy Abraham doesn't equalise. Good save. Mason Mount through the gap there to Emerson. Lays it off to N'Golo Kante. Just scored a good goal against Liverpool in real life, but not able to get one here in the cup final at Wembley. Still play that forward. The danger is still not gone for Liverpool, and Tammy can't get past Joel Matip. Strong challenge, good challenge, and the danger is over. Driving forward Went for the 1 2, but managed to slow them down there. Here's Bobby Firmino. Salah's out wide. Emerson intercepts. That's why. Ah, oh, we made the change. Genie, yes, Christensen in the way. Pulls oh, Merlin down for there. Williams coming off for Callum Hudson Odoi. And uh, Ruben Loftus Sheik is coming on for Mason Mount. Trying to make some changes now, just past the hour mark, to get ourselves back in this game. Mane with the corner. Emerson flicks away, but only as far as Virgil van Dijk, whose technique is superb, as is the save from Kepper, to stop us from going 2 0 down. Never seen Virgil produce that sort of technique to try and finish a goal. But on the counter-attack here with Ruben Loftus-Cheek, get it short there to hudson Adoy, whose ball towards Tammy is absolutely dead. And that's killed the counter-attack, frustratingly. He has been questionable so far, hudson Adoy. It's a lovely interception by Tammy Abraham, though. James Milner recovers. Ruben Loftus-Cheek oh, trying to tug at Fabinho's shirt there to get the ball back. It's Rosinho. Milner's gotten away from me here. Might go for the 1-2 with Firmino. Has done. Christensen tries to step in but can't get there. Salah up against Emerson who's forced him backwards. They are in uh, trucking forward. We're able to get it away. Emerson's certainly been much better. And now if I can slot Tammy in and he's onside here, we might be able to find ourselves an equaliser. And I believe he is onside. Tammy Abraham can't score because Allison is one of the best keepers in the world. One on one. I couldn't turn inside even more. I had to shoot with the angle I had. Joel Matic was there waiting. Suzinho to deliver the corner. We'll look for Tammy Abraham. We might find Tammy. Allison's punched away. Christensen to get to it. Knock it back down the line there to Suzinho again. In there to Ruben Loftus cheek. Nice little Ronaldo chop. Needs some support in the edge of the box. I don't have it yet. Suzinho. There's N'Golo Kante. Tammy's through that gap. Good touch. Look for Ruben. Poor pass. And again. We've given the ball away in a positive position. And unfortunately, no equaliser forthcoming as of yet. There's still 12 minutes to try and find one, though. Again, they're looking in behind for Mo Salah with Emerson. But Emerson has been so much better than Marcus Alonso thus far. But he's still got the ball in there, Mo Salah. But it'll be a throw for Liverpool on the far side. 82nd minute. Another change coming for them, it seems. Dejan Lovren coming on for Joel Matip. A defensive change. We have had the opportunities in this game. I cannot deny that. We've had chances, but unfortunately haven't been clinical with them. Here's Andy Robertson inside to Mane. In fact, it may even have been James Milner. Mane again, twisting away. Tamori steps in. Christensen makes sure we get the ball away here. Looking for N'Golo Kante. Forward there to Pulisic. Into Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Across to Jorginho. Space to break into here. If we can draw the defenders towards us, we might be able to create something. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is making that run. Tammy gets caught in possession, though, by Lovren. Loftus-Cheek finds the ball fall at his feet. Here's Jorginho. Ball out wide is on. The man at the back post is on. And Allison leaps across to get the ball. That's the end of the game for us, I think. I needed that cross to work, and it didn't. And Christensen's clearance there, or attempted pass to knock it to a free teammate, has failed miserably. We've won the ball back. Kante accelerating away. Come on, now is the time to score. Space. Christian Pulisic in the box. Pulisic, the American, hits the outside of the post. We don't equalise. That's the game right then and there. Can you believe it? The last kick of the game hits the post and we lose the Carabao Cup final. Literally the last kick of the game. We fought valiantly in that tie. 
Prior to the game, I expected us to lose. With the way that we were playing up until half-time, I thought we might get back into it. We had yet further chances in the second half. We just weren't clinical enough. Or Alisson was just too good. Virgil is going to be the man to lift the trophy for Liverpool. The second trophy they've won against us this season. That's a dagger to the heart. Tottenham knocked us out of the FA Cup as well. We just can't help but lose to rivals in big games this year. Really frustrating. But, I don't know. Do they deserve it? Or have they snuck that away from us? Virgil van Dijk lifts the trophy and Liverpool will celebrate. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think we've been robbed there, perhaps? Or were we just lacking that cutting edge in front of goal but saw Liverpool win the fixture? I think it's probably a mixture of both. Liverpool fans will be delirious, of course, with their victory and congratulations to them. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We did have plenty more chances than them, but Alisson was superb. We will go to the post-match interview begrudgingly and uh, put on a brave face in front of the cameras putting on a brave face in front of this camera as well after losing my first no my second technically cup final just a couple of questions for you I'm not sure I want to answer these questions to be completely honest would giving Michi Batshuayi a chance to play have helped the team win today I don't think so I don't think so he could prove me wrong but I don't think so not every decision pays off and you have to be able to own up to your own decisions yeah, I don't think so this was the strongest moment, or this was not, sorry, the strongest moment for Chelsea. While you had a great run reaching the finals, Liverpool proved a strong opponent. Will losing the Carabao Cup final mean uh, something? Losing the final by a narrow margin, how do you feel? Um, we're a strong team. We'll bounce back from that. We were the better side on the day. None of us will go home happy about what happened today, but we saw some lads in tears after the game. We certainly did. Liverpool scored the winner in the first half. Your team didn't react after conceding ways that we did react. We just couldn't score. Um, my team are better than you're implying. Yes, certainly. We did react. That's a bit naughty by the reporter there. Because we were the better team and certainly did react and have a number of chances. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm sure I like her. Reese James, James is happy at the uh, opportunity of the performance. And you're more than welcome, mate. But... I'm saying I'm proud of him. I do expect a little more, though. Monthly scouting update from the Ivory Coast now. Unfortunately, uh, Stefan de Bogo was signed by Frankfurt. So we have to remove him from the list now. But we'll wait and see if we can find anyone else that's looking good. 15 years of age, 325 grand signed. 65 to 89, 55 to 75, 52 to 70, and 62 to 82. I want to have a look. Oh, 60 grand. Well, what great. What an amazing prize fund that is. I want to have a look at this kid. Uh, Daniel Kone, 5 foot 11 as a centre back. Could probably play, hopefully, at uh, CDM though as well. Daniel Kone, 5 foot 11, 65 acceleration, 70 sprint speed. Looks good physically already. To be 59 rated at 15 years of age, considering we've some 17 years of age players that uh, aren't anywhere near that rating as well. Daniel Kone looks like he's really strong. We might have unearthed someone there. If his jumping turns out to be really good by the time he's grown in a couple of years' time, he may well be a superb acquisition for us. We are fourth in the Premier League table. Manchester United can go top of the table again with even just a point in their game in hand, which is against... I'm not sure who it's against, actually. Uh, we have a game in hand as well, so perhaps it's this fixed list here. No, still no sign of a Man United game there either at the beginning of March. Oh, they have Manchester City on the 8th. Not an easy tie, although with a side City have been playing in most of their games, maybe it will be. City are up to 13th, now Arsenal 12th in the relegation zone are Brighton, Sheffield United and West Ham. So they could get themselves level on points with Norwich with a win in their game in hand. We though are in a good position in the league and still in a decent situation in the Champions League as well. The second leg of the uh, tie against Lokomotiv Moscow will be in tomorrow's episode. We've got Bournemouth away, Everton at home, Villa away and City at home. I'll probably sim the first two, Everton at home and Bournemouth away, then play Villa, play Moscow and play Manchester City. That's going to be the way that unfortunately today's episode ends though. Defeat in the Carabao Cup final. Defeat in our second trophy opportunity to the red side of Merseyside. 
for the second time this season. Not happy about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Make sure you subbed as well. Subscribe to or follow even the Mixer channel if you haven't already. Link in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter as well. I'll see you next time.